there's like a build up as well when you find out that it's coming out it's like oh my goodness no, I'm very excited that she's here I'm like probably like the part of band I get her on Facebook and on her website on YouTube just anything new that I can find of hers he's already downloaded her book but I've got been and brought the real thing so her book she kind of inspired me to write yeah and if you know fanfic I kind of write fanfic off her novel so it's when I found out about this event, I actually did like a happy dance around the kitchen. <laughs> we love the way she writes. Now as a Russian first, and as a Russian writer second, I will tell you that every Russian believes with his whole soul that there is no such thing as a happy ending. <laughs> because every Russian knows that every story ends in death. Everyone. It's where you choose to end your stories in your books that determine what kind of end that you have. And when I was thinking about it, I realized that I could have ended each one of my books a hundred pages earlier, and they all would have been different books. They all would have had a different end. So my point is that as a writer, I always know where my stories and my characters are going. But then for a reader, you, you go along the ride, along with me. And then those of you who think that Gina may have tied her dinghy to the wrong ship, like my father thought that he may have been able to pass my mother by, you have to also ask yourself that it's a thousand, and, and realize that it's a thousand little decisions, big and small, that make up the person's whole life. And so this book and the one that follows it gave me this opportunity for great pleasure to write about these two passionate, complex characters and to draw a fabric of a whole new life. And recalled my own parents being young and coming to America with all their dreams. And for many good years, many, many good years before all went horribly south, they lived very well and they heeded well the immortal words of uh, the Russian poet Alexander Bloch, who said that no one was allowed to be melancholy who had paid such a high price for living. I always think as well, I don't want an Edward Cullen, I don't want a Christian Grey, I want an Alexander Barrington. <laughs> a big hi to all my New Zealand fans. I'm thrilled to be back here again in your beautiful country. Thank you so much for turning out today to see me, and I can't wait to see the rest of you with all your friendly faces at my upcoming events. Thank you.